Applications are the lifeblood of the digital business, but application goals can be challenging. Kubernetes is a key requirement, but Kubernetes is complex. It can have issues with visibility, operations, management, security. The software supply chain, how we get code from development to production, is subject to an exponential increase in a number of attacks. But the goals are worth it because organizations with a high developer velocity index are reporting to three to five times revenue growth. So what we're talking about is the software supply chain. But we need to acknowledge up front that organizations, customers, businesses, and even within departments within those businesses, there's a wide range of software and services that's already been chosen. So any solution for this software supply chain must not only solve the problems of the supply chain itself, but must also be able to integrate and be extensible to any of those existing services. So in effect, to choreograph their use into an end-to-end -end capability. And with the attack surface that we're just talking about, whatever that software supply chain ends up as, it has to be secure from innovation all the way to production. And the key components to achieve that are fairly easy to lay out. The first area is build, where our developers are working, where they're building new code, new applications, where they're modernizing existing applications. When they build these things, they need to deploy them, push them through a workflow process, so they get to the test environments and ultimately they get to production environments. Those production environments are going to be Kubernetes in the multi-cloud world. So we need for our cloud native platform ops management, a kind of multi-cloud Kubernetes control plane that gives us all the capabilities of management we require as well as the ability to service this application lifecycle. And when those apps are running in production, we need the ability to check on their performance, on their health, in real time, so that we can both resolve issues when they happen, as well as iterate our code to improve the performance of our applications. So let's start with the developer experience. The best developer experience is one where they can access all the services we're going to talk about here from within their preferred IDE. This is where they code, it's where they work. It's a system they're familiar with. Tanzu application platform is geared to let them do just that. Here, our developer is using application live view. From within their IDE, you can see they're making changes to their code and you can see the running app being updated in the bottom right with those changes. So when changes are made, Tanzu is redeploying those containers with the updated code. That's how developers get comfortable and get focused on their job. That's how we remove developer toil. There's many more services that we can provide to the developers. Tons of application accelerators are basically pre-canned templates for cloud native patterns. Accessible, as you can see here from their IDE, they contain everything the developer needs to really fast track their ability to get started. They can choose where to configure them, how to configure them, and in just a few short clicks, they're put back into their IDE with all the libraries and dependencies they need to get started. And it's not just VMware that can provide these. Any organization that determines a best practice for how developers can work can configure an application accelerator and make it available to developers so they can get started in the fastest and most compliant way possible. We can do many more things. We can also provide curated application images. This is the ability to consume container images that are already enterprise approved that are consistently checked for CVE vulnerabilities and patched, making sure that they're always on the latest version. All made easily consumable by the developer, so they can just bring them into their code builds and use them straight away. Another way to improve developer productivity is providing powerful ways to create and manage APIs. Tanzu helps developers to very easily create and discover APIs, and not just for their new applications, but also for applications they're trying to integrate with. And these API services must be brownfield aware so that they understand that if a cloud native application tries to integrate with a traditional application, it's important we have features like rate limiting to ensure that we protect the integrity and availability of the existing app as it integrates with the cloud native world. But we aren't though just building new applications. We need to transform our traditional applications too. Tanzu application platform gives the development teams access to a range of features like Tanzu application transformer, which can help them discover the topology of those applications, which frameworks and languages are in use. 
and give them access to a wide range of capabilities to modernize them from simple containerization all the way through to fully refactoring them to being entirely cloud native and microservices based. So these are just some of the features that VMware Cross Cloud Services and Tanzu provides developers to help them build new apps fast and to modernize your application portfolio. So the next step with those applications built is to deploy them. And for that, we need a composable CI CD pipeline. We need the pipeline to work with the existing tools and services that we've already selected. We need to make sure that security is embedded at every stage from innovation to production. And we need to make sure that the whole thing is manageable as an end to end repeatable and consistent workflow. So as the developers build from within their IDE and they trigger to start the pathway to production to them, it's just something that's going to happen. We don't want them raising tickets, but we do need a way to automate that pathway to production that takes in and considers the needs of the ops and security teams. Tanzu supply chain choreographer provides exactly for this. So developers get to build in their IDE. They get to push to production. Now, as far as they're concerned, it's just happened. But meanwhile, the security teams get to insert their security requirements at every stage, whether that's making sure it's an enterprise governed build packs that go into the build, whether it's making sure that anything pushed into the container registry is constantly checked and verified against threats and CVE compliance, whether it's making sure that the CD pipeline that pushes the workloads out to production goes through all those compliance and security checks that they require to make sure before something is considered live. And for the operations team, it's consistently managing this extensible environment so they can work with any of the tools or services that have already been selected by the organization, but that they can manage it as one end to end whole. How as a single workflow, they can have full visibility and governance of the whole process of the path to production. So as well as providing a great developer experience and a secure repeatable pipeline to get those apps to production, we also need to manage them once they're there. Now, as we said, that pathway to production is going to end up in this complex world of multiple clouds and multiple Kubernetes runtime environments. So for that, we need a mature cloud native platform ops capability. Tanzu Mission Control is as a service that enables you to view, to manage, to protect Kubernetes distributions from any cloud, to be able to create clusters, whether EKS, AKS, TKG, etc or to attach clusters that perhaps project teams have already created to bring them into that management fold. Tanzu Mission Control enables you to manage these clusters deeply to be able to configure things like nodes, namespaces, but also be able to configure within those clusters your enterprise needs, things like data protection and backups, for example. But the point, of course, isn't to do these things manually. We want to set up automation and guardrails through policies. We need these policies so that we can service the application lifecycle. Tanzu Mission Control enables powerful, flexible consumption with a protection of the guardrails governed by policy, like access control to onboard new developers of a company or project, giving them access to all the resources they need to enable them to deploy applications, but making sure that when they do, it's within the quota policies, for example, that are dictated by business requirements. And if an application team is working on a project with specific requirements like PCI compliance, then with policy, you can determine that any application images that they choose to use in that environment must be PCI compliant as well. We can also ensure by a policy that as resources are created, they're compliant with the organization's need for security. Being able to define these policies sets up those guardrails so the operations and security concerns are protected while ultimate flexibility is given to deployment by the application teams. VMware Cross Cloud Services is providing the ability to manage multi-cloud Kubernetes environments on any cloud for any distribution. But whilst those environments are connected and protected, how do we connect and protect the cloud native applications running within them? For that, we need a service mesh. Tanzu Service Mesh adds connectivity and trust to application security. It actually accelerates the development cycles by helping you protect the rapidly growing number of microservices and APIs and data across a multiple cloud environment to ensure regulatory compliance. Tanzu Service Mesh provides policy-based connectivity so that you can 
increase that development velocity by having new endpoints connected and protected. Tanzu Service Mesh not only connects your cloud native services and APIs, but it also connects them with traditional applications and it encrypts all communications by default. But we need more from our Service Mesh. We need dynamic and intelligent tools to help us understand what's going on at any point in time. So with Tanzu Service Mesh, you can interrogate those communications and see if, for example, credit card information or API credentials are being passed on unprotected in your code. And you can detect, protect and remediate attacks on your network. Having this visibility not only offers us the mitigation of protection against the attacks and challenges we may face, but it also gives us a feedback loop so that we can ensure that the source of these vulnerabilities, our development environments, are consistently iterated for best practice to better protect our application data so that we maintain a safe pathway to production. With VMware Cross Cloud Services, connectivity and security is built into every component. Not only does this provide for security and networking itself, but organizations who don't have this unified control will find they slow down considerably as these concerns still need to be addressed, but it will be in a point fashion across silos. So our applications are built and deployed, and our cloud and apps are being protected and managed. Lastly, we need to consider how to run them. The first part of that is understanding how our applications are behaving. So for that, we need observability. Cloud native and multi-cloud apps are notoriously complex with a vast array of full stack metrics that come from many sources that need to be aggregated and parsed. Tonto observability does just that in real time giving us the visibility through dashboards of the health and performance of an application, as well as the ability to find that needle in the haystack when something goes wrong, so that we can reduce the mean time to recovery and get the service back on track as quickly as possible. And for our developers to innovate properly, they also need instant feedback on how their application updates are performing. Tanto Application Live View gives developers and operations access to immediate feedback on how applications are performing after a code update, whether through JVM stats or the ability to set trace and debug levels in the application, all immediately available to the developer so that they can see what impact their changes have had and quickly iterate and innovate for performance improvement. And finally, LogInsight has always been a crucial tool in the arsenal to help us understand the health and performance of our apps and infrastructure. In the cloud native world, we still need that intelligent insight into what information the log files are telling us. We still need the ability to quickly query the logs and find the information we're looking for within the cloud native multi-cloud world. We need our log insight solution to work with the full stack and the full multi-cloud environment, whether that's app frameworks, public cloud services, or infrastructure. Being able to aggregate all of those log files and still provide the intelligent insight and querying is critical to our ability to manage our cloud native platform, application and infrastructure health. VMware Cross Cloud Services and Tanzu Solutions for the software supply chain are helping our customers to enable their developers to innovate, while at the same time giving security and operations the tools they need to set guardrails and protect the integrity of the applications and the customer data. This ability to scale their cloud native platform operations and improve that developer experience is helping our customers increase that developer velocity index and that in turn is helping them to achieve their ambitions in the digital world.